Hi, um, so today we're looking at Acts 22. Um, you, you, you probably have noticed that Acts 21 and 22, have, they kind of merge together. So I'm going to look at the, the back end of Acts 21 because it's something really, really important that you grasp, that we all grasp for the rest of the book of Acts. Um, and then I'm going to share with you something that's not really related, but just a challenge, challenging verse um, that God has kind of highlighted for, for me. And I'm sure you'll find it challenging as well. So I'm going to read from Acts uh, 21 verse 27. Um, this is really, really important. It says this, when the seven days were nearly over, some Jews from the province of Asia saw Paul at the temple. They stirred up the whole crowd and seized him, shouting, fellow Israelites, help us. This is the man who teaches everyone everywhere against our people and our law and this place. And besides, he has brought Greeks into the temple and defiled his holy place, this holy place. And then verse 29. This is the key bit. Luke writes in brackets. They had previously seen Trophimus, the Ephesian in the city with Paul, and assumed. And assumed that Paul had brought him into the temple. So it's written. Just to give you a bit of context, so the Jewish temples of the time, there there was a, the outer section where Gentiles were allowed to, to go, and then there was an inner section um, that was for Jews only. It was it was strictly forbidden for, for Gentiles to enter. In fact, there were signs um, in these temples that said uh, f for a Jew to step foot in this forbidden place, it was punishable by death. And so what's really interesting is that these these Jews that we see in verse 30, the whole city was aroused and the people came running from all directions. They seized Paul and arrested him. They didn't arrest Trophimus. There's no evidence that Trophimus was arrested, um, which I think is really, really interesting. Um, also, so. so these Jews from Asia, they had stirred the whole city and that that's it. That's pretty, pretty well the, all that we hear of them. They probably went home. We, we don't know what happened to them. We don't know. Um, yeah, it, it's just amazing, isn't it? That that they managed to stir up the whole city and kind of like, well, we've done our bit. You carry on. <laughs> Um, and the rest of the book of Acts is basically Paul's trial of of this, um, this false charge. And what Luke is doing here is the, we can see that this trial kind of reflects Jesus's trial. The rest, you know, the rest of the book of Acts, we read that um, the, the the, the the Roman uh, authorities didn't know what to do with Paul's case. Um, similarly, with Jesus, Pilate washed his hands and he said, I, I just don't know what to do. <laughs> and so he, he gave the choice to the people and they chose to kill Jesus and free Barabbas. Um, and so this this bit here is really, really important that we understand. We have it in our head as we read the rest of Acts. Um I hope you I hope you found that helpful. Uh, just the thing that I feel like God has highlighted to me that I found really challenging um, is Acts twenty two verse fifteen. So we so Paul is kind of sharing his testimony of his conversion, and here we see that uh, Ananias comes to him, and, and this is this is one of the things that he says to him you will be his witnesses to all people of what you have seen and heard you'll be all you you will be witnesses to all people of what you've seen and heard god calls us to be witnesses to all people that's a real challenge isn't it i find that really challenging to every person we come across god calls us to be a witness. I hope you've enjoyed that and it's stirred some thoughts. I hope you have a great day. Um, see you tomorrow. Look forward to it.